Welcome classic rock fans to an impromptu video. I'm one inspired by the sad passing of that great rock and roller Jerry Lee Lewis. Now I don't usually do these tribute videos as YouTube tends to be awash with them. Um, but I felt I had to say something about a man whose music was part of my um, almost required listening when I was a child as I, my mother had many of his records. She'd play them and often go weak at the knees as my father sneered from the crisp snap of his morning paper. Jerry Lee Lewis has been described as the killer and certainly one of the first wild men of rock and roll. You know, his stage, feral, on-stage persona very much epitomises what rock and roll should be and set the blueprint that it influenced many, many artists to come, including the likes of Elton John and Lemmy Kilmister. And that piano came in for some serious abuse from thumping it with his fists and hands and um, standing on the piano and sitting on it playing with his feet. And uh, of course his trademark move was uh, kicking the uh, piano stool away while standing up, which was actually an accident, started off as an accident, but it got such a, a positive response from the audience, he kind of made sure he included that in his act from then on. In fact, he was often billed as Jerry Lee Lewis in his pumping piano. There's no doubt he brought an element of showmanship uh, to those early, to the early rock and roll, uh, and an element of danger as well. Of course, Jerry Lee Lewis made his earliest recordings with Sun Records, I believe, in 1956, alongside Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. In fact, this one of his first records. There's a whole lot of shaking going on, which came out in 1957, really put him on the map, along with Great Balls of Fire, of course. Jerry Lee Lewis is not only known for his very feral on-stage persona, but that boogie-woogie style of piano, which was very much uh, influenced by gospel as well, which did a lot to inform his technique. Although his career took a huge blow in 1958, when it was discovered on the British tour that he actually married Myra Gale Brown, his 13-year-old cousin, audiences subsequently started to boo and jeer him as he took the stage, although he played the performances in their entirety. Unfortunately, the tour eventually was called short and cancelled due to the controversy surrounding his, uh, his marriage. However, there was one album that came out during the Lost Years, and that was the live album recorded at the Star Club in Hamburg in 1964 with the Nashville Teens. I mean, my God, what an album that is. It's got to be considered one of the best live albums ever. Nevertheless, despite the controversy, he carried on performing way into his 80s, uh, uh, achieving accolades and awards and recognition. Recognition well-deserved, I have to say. In fact, the critic Robert Criscow went on to say about him, his drive, his timing, his offhand vocal power, his unmistakable boogie plus piano, and his absolute confidence in the face of the void made Jerry Lee Lewis the quintessential rock and roller. And I have to fully agree. Anyway, this video is a short tribute to Jerry Lee Lewis. May he rest in peace, although I somehow doubt it.